Hi, it's Lou Brown. I've been asked, how much interest do trusts earn? Well, that's an interesting question. <laughs> the reason is that whatever assets the trust has might be in a bank account. Well, that bank account can earn however much interest the bank is willing to pay. There could be CDs. And of course, we all know that's like 0.0, .0 something percent. So it's very little that it would earn if it rests in a bank. Now, interestingly, most trusts can actually invest. So trusts can purchase things. They can purchase rental property, for example, which is one of the things I dearly love is to buy and hold properties long-term. I've got a book, Buy, Hold, Sell, in fact. And in that book, I talk about how you can use trusts to be able to purchase assets and receive income for the rest of your life. And when it passes down to your heirs, they can earn income for the rest of their lives as well. So there's some very magnificent benefits that trusts can deliver to a family and avoid taxation. I didn't say evade taxation. I said, avoid taxation, perfectly legitimate. It's in the tax code and people who know about it are able to take advantage of it. One of my sayings is that the secrets are hidden out in the open for everyone who knows about them. But imagine that even CPAs, attorneys, financial planners are not even aware of all the huge benefits that certain trusts can deliver to you. Now I'm going to be covering that. I've got a four day event. It's called Maximum Asset Shield. That's MaximumAssetShield.com. Love to have you at the event where I go soup to nuts through the least expensive trusts and why you're doing it and how you're doing it. And you literally bring a deed to class and you can fill out your own paperwork at your seat and you can learn what it's all about. And the more, what I call the elite trust for larger estates and for taxation purposes, where taxes can definitely be avoided through the use of certain trusts. So I'm going to reveal that to you at the Maximum Asset Shield event where we can lay it all out and you can determine for yourself what is right for you. There's about 30 different kinds of trusts. So there's some things to consider when making that decision. And it's all relative to the current estate that you have and the estate that you plan to have as well. So those are considerations when choosing the right trust vehicle. We're going to be talking about that and giving you an opportunity to learn soup to nuts by bringing your deed with you to class, bringing your vehicle title to class and learning how you can do it yourself. Such powerful and great information. And I say, it's always important to learn about trust yourself because you're about to bury the bones. And rather than having an attorney do it and not really explain and tell you what's happened with your estate, it's better for you to absolutely know what's going on so that you can set yourself and your family up for success. Hope to see you soon. My name is Lou Brown. Yeah, baby.